ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another brick in the mall. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because I'm certainly excited to be back here at the mall on this mysterious piece of land that we seem to have inherited for no particular reason. We currently have over 640 people on site. Most of those people... Most of those people are trying to get into the obnoxiously big local shop over here, which is proving to be a bit of a problem because we have a lot of complaints that the queues are full. And if you look at the number of occurrences of complaints, a lot of people are saying that the queues are full. And a lot of people are leaving every day saying that they won't come back tomorrow. Today, today, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to fix that. Today, I would like to do two things. I would like to close the Nerdrosoft store up here. And I would like to close the obnoxiously big local shop. Because I believe that we are going to have to take out a loan. And that we're going to have to make a sizable space back here. A considerably large space back here. For a new, mega, obnoxiously big local shop. M O B L S mobbles. Mo mega obnoxiously big look mobbles. We're gonna make mobbles today. <laughs> you know, I didn't think about the name of that before saying it, but I like it. Uh so interestingly we can only take three hundred and eight thousand dollars. I guess that's maybe what we can afford. Honestly not too worried about that. Let's take out a loan. We have $417,000. We're going to go to build. We're going to go to foundations. We're going to do a beautiful thing. We're going to spend 280000 on a 50 by 28 space. Because that's how big we're going to make this. Uh, and what we're going to do is go to walls. We're going to bring some walls down uh, like this. So we're going to have some walls. That bit in the middle... That, ladies and gentlemen, is the mega obnoxiously big local shop. And it's going to be, it's going to be amazing is what it's going to be. Let's get that built. Uh, let me cancel that. This is, uh, this is being, this is, this isn't exactly the way I wanted it to go, but we'll get all that in there. And we're going to get this built. And hopefully, hopefully this is going to do some good stuff. Hopefully that's, that is bigger than the one we have over there, so... Hopefully this works. Now let's go ahead and look at doors. We're going to need quite a few of them. I want a double door there. And I want a double door there. I'll probably open this up a little bit down here. So that's going to be completely fine. The storage area on mobbles is... Oh, that's a good question. Where are we going to put the storage area for mobbles? Oh, and here's another question. How long is it going to be before people are really sick of me saying the word mobbles? I imagine not very long, to be honest. Not very long at all. Uh, right. Let's get a storage area there. That seems big enough, I think. And what we'll do is go to objects, go to staff door. We'll get a staff door there. We'll get a staff door there. Uh, we can probably put a staff door there and there temporarily. And maybe a couple of staff doors there. And there, I don't know how long those are going to stay there, but I think having those staff doors is going to be a good thing. Uh, and maybe some staff doors there and there until we need to expand them all over this way. But I'm liking this. This is a huge, huge str uh, building, huge room that we're going to turn into a great thing. So if we go to a sign and we go to store, we can say that that whole thing is store six. Then the storage for store six is going to be there. Storage seven. And then store six is going to be renamed. We're going to rename store six. It's no longer just going to be boring old store six. It is going to be... I'm not going to type mo uh, the mega obnoxious. I'm going to just call it mobbles. Uh, so <laughs> that's, a that's That looks ridiculous. That's totally fine. Storage seven is going to be uh, the mobbles st uh, store storage. All right. And we need to furnish this. We need to get some stuff in here. Uh, so I think the first thing to do is we're going to figure out how exactly we're going to do the checkout counters. Because I'm very tempted to just do them here and uh, 
see if that works. But I kind of know it won't. So it's kind of tempting to do them sort of in the middle. Uh, but then again, you know, just doing them this way works as well. I can get them in there really nicely too. So it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. I don't know what way to do the checkout. Kind of, I like the idea of doing this. I really like the idea of doing this. But I just... I don't... I don't think it's a good idea. I don't... I don't think... There is, um... I don't think there's enough checkout counters there. I think that's going to prove to be a bit of a problem. Unless we put a bunch at the other end, but I mean, what, well, that's uh, six right there. So we'd have 12 in total. I'm pretty sure we have like 20. We have like 16 here. So 12 in total is not going to be enough. So really, we are going to have to put them along one of the top walls, which is fine, I guess. We're just going to have to deal with it. Uh, it means all of the products are going to be done here. Which I guess is okay. Uh, so if we do that, we've got one, two, three. We've got seven tiles at the bottom that we can use for products. So that's fair enough. Let's get a whole bunch of these in here. These are going to be super expensive because they're a thousand each. But I feel it's going to be worth it. I feel like if we can get mobbles to be as successful as OBLS has proven to be, which in theory, by the way, it should be considering it's... Um, you know, it's it's the next step. It's the next big thing. That's the point of mobbles. So that's going to be a lot of checkout queues right there. There's a lot of room for product, and that's what we want. So I want a bunch of food shelves down here. Going to get a whole bunch of these, just the whole way along this bottom bit. Just a whole bunch of different types of food. That's, that's what we need along here. So food shelves, then regular shelves, then fridges, then tables... We're going to need a lot of people to make this place work as well. We're going to need so many stock clerks and so many cashiers. I'm hopeful that we can do some good stuff. Now, that's not the middle. That is by no means the middle. Uh, I think I think that's like the middle. I think that's about the middle there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11. I think that's it. I think that's good. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's get more food shelves. And by the way, don't worry. I'm not going to make you watch this whole thing. Because I'm going to be nice and do everything off camera. So, all of the shelves, fridges, tables, counters, that's all in. I've also gone ahead and decided to uh, <laughs> assign items to every table as well. It took a little while, I'll be honest. Took, uh, took a little while, and, uh, oh boy, that was a bit of a nightmare. But Mobbles has not got every item that it's going to need. So the next step is hiring everyone that's going to work in there. Now, Mobbles is going to be an interesting store, because unlike OBLS, I'm going to decide that it isn't going to be open 24-7 at first. What I'm going to do is open it for 16 hours because that's easy to manage at first and we're gonna get all of the staff that we're gonna need now you're a good stock clerk uh let's see i you know what i'm just gonna go for people who i'm just gonna go for you uh we're gonna go for you we're gonna get you and we're gonna get uh we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get you and you're all gonna come in and you're all gonna start at four in the morning because hopefully that's going to help you all uh get the stock out onto the shelves nice and quickly that's the plan anyway we'll see how that goes but you're all going to start at four in the morning now we have a lot of sh we have a lot of counters here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty two of them so, if we want staff to fill up all of those counters at all times during the day, we need 44 cashiers. And if we want 24-7 coverage, we need to hire 66 people. Not including stock clerks, of which this probably isn't enough. I'm gonna change mobiles for a second. I'm gonna bring it down to be open for eight hours. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna open at eight, close at 
Nah, you know what? I'm not- nah. No, we're doing this properly. We're doing this properly. I'm gonna hire 11 at first, then another 11. Oh my god, there's no- there's no way to cheat out of this, is there? There's no- there's no easy solution here. Alright, we're doing this. Oh boy. <laughs> One! That was a stock clerk. Whoops. Alright, well that's fine. Let's try that again. One! <laughs> it begins. All right, everybody's hired from mobbles. There's, uh... Oh boy, there's a lot of things in there. Uh, there's a lot of things gonna be... Gonna be put in there. I'm excited to see how it goes. Uh, apparently the main product is fresh fruit, which is fair enough. That's, uh, that's fine by me. There's a lot of people work here. A lot of people. Uh, I wanna see this work though. I want to see Mobbles be, uh, be a huge, huge success. There's actually things on the shelves already. That's kind of surprising. I guess the stock clerks are... gonna try and do their thing. I'm curious to see if they actually can, uh, achieve anything here. Because I sort of have my doubts. Uh, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna quickly, uh, we're gonna quickly do a thing. I'm gonna go to Mobbles, and I'm gonna say that the opening hour is gonna be... 3 in the morning. I'm gonna hire a bunch of stock clerks, because they're automatically gonna come in at 3 in the morning. And what that's gonna do... ...is give us a lot of people that come in at 3 in the morning to start stock, uh, stacking shelves. Hopefully. We'll see if that works. I don't know if they're actually gonna come in. Because they were hired, they were technically hired on day 155. So they might not bother. They also have a considerable distance to cover should they actually wish to get to work. So, uh, yeah, Mobile, Mobbles is, um, it's out there a bit. It is, uh, it's a considerable, considerable distance. Uh, but I'm fairly confident I can make this work. I mean, a lot of people are in here already. There's quite a few items on the shelves, so they're getting there. Uh, I'm also curious to see what it looks like when, uh, all of the cashiers show up, should they happen to show up. I really do hope this place is, is a, a success. I really, really do. Now, the cashiers should be here by this point. Uh, they are slowly arriving, which is beautiful news. I don't know if anyone's actually going to go to this store, though. Oh, no, some people are. Okay. Okay, people are coming here. We got some products on the shelves. We don't have a lot of stuff on the shelves, but we have some products. Oh, look at this. Look at this nonsense. People are liking it. People are getting through the con- Oh my god, there's so many people coming here. Oh my god. There's so many people coming to the mega obnoxiously big local shop. It's beautiful. It's working as well. They're all filtering down this way to get in. They're all filtering out that way to bugger off. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at this nonsense. It's working. Now this is pod racing. Sorry, had to throw that in there. I uh, got a little bit carried away. Reference to Phantom Menace. Do apologize. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. So all those members of staff buggered off, the new ones are in. This is exciting. Oh, I'm really happy about this. I really am. I can't imagine it's going to make money because OBLS still exists. But... I think it's time to close OBLS. I think it's time. I think we're going to take the risk. I can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe we're getting rid of it, but it's the end of an era. The obnoxiously big local shop is gone. It's gone. No more OBLS. Mobbles is the future. Oh my god. Can't believe we've done it. Let's remove all the objects in there. Oh, it is well and truly the end of an era. Mobbles. Mobbles is where it's at. I'm curious to see what kind of money it ends up making, especially since it isn't 24 7 yet. It is technically not 24-7. Um, but that's fine. We can make it 24-7.
we absolutely can make it 24-7. And I'll show you how to make this place 24-7 quite easily as well. The way I managed to get... I, I got like 20 people working there for each shift really easily. It was really, really simple to do. Basically, what we do, we pause for a moment. We go to manage and we go to mobiles and uh, we go to staff. All right, so we go to staff. What we're going to want to do to start with is get some stock clerks for the midnight shift. So basically, we do this. You click hire and you just get the first one. It doesn't matter who they are. A lot of cashiers very good at the moment. So there's a bunch, there's a bunch of stock clerks. I realize I've just put them on the eight, uh, the eight o'clock shift because we open at eight. But if I go to set opening hours to midnight and I go to staff and I go to cashiers, I just rapid fire click like this. And we've got four and five and six and seven eight, nine, and 10, then 11, 12, 13, you get the idea, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we just hired everybody back from uh, from OBLS is what we've done. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is gonna hire two more and you guys are gonna come in at uh, 11 right there so you're gonna come in at uh, 11 there now what are the what are the out why is there a dip there that's a little bit worrying we do have people like you guys work from from midnight until the wee hours of the morning then people should be starting at uh eight in the morning so that should be fine that shouldn't be a problem uh i sincerely hope we'll see how that goes but technically we should be able to be open for 24 hours at this point we'll see if it works i have my doubts we have stock clerks coming in. This place is almost fully stocked as well. I think the biggest challenge for models uh, is number one, going to be the fact that a lot of people are coming in here to buy some products that they're not going to be able to get. Are they just lifting stuff and leaving? It looks like they're just coming in, taking stuff and, and going because we don't have anyone on the tills. That's not how that works. That's, that's not how... Th <laughs> that's not how that kind of thing works. Uh, now, we have one person on a till right now. That's really not going to do us any favors. we got a couple more people coming in. That's going to help us out. There we go. There's a couple of those sick people. What is this? What's up with you? You've got a weak... You, you're very sick. Oh, there's a lot of sick people. Is that a new thing? Okay, fair enough. We're making some pretty good money, though. Let's close some of these and see what the complaints come in today. I'm really curious. I'm, I'm really curious. So there's squall. Yeah, the place is filthy. The place is absolutely filthy. We need more janitors. Yeah, people aren't liking the filthiness in here. Look at the state of it as well. No wonder. Oh my God, the queues are full. How has this happened? Oh my, there's 20 cashiers and the queues are full. That is dumb. That is so dumb. In a good, like, don't get me wrong, I get why the queues are full, but oh my god. What? What? What can I, I guess I have to split up the stores, don't I? I have to get some specialist stores, I have to get more people in here. Um, we need, we need janitors, man. We, we really... We need more janitors during the day. Um, so, mole maintenance, staff. Um, let's get some janitors, shall we? So, you're going to come in at nine. That's fine. Let's get a bunch of janitors to just come in at, like, nine. Um, just a whole bunch, really. I feel like we're going to need all of them. So, just get all of these guys. And that'll be fine. It'd be nice to be able to sort of set a lot of them to work later in the day. Like, come in at five or something. Because having to manually do this is going to be such a pain in the butt. But it needs to be done. You know, it needs... We need them coming in at a good time here to make sure that uh, the place actually stays relatively clean. Because, my God, uh, it's it's not the cleanest, is it? We'll give that a shot. That's a bunch of new janitors coming in. So hopefully that's going to do some good stuff. A lot of angry people, a lot of sick people. I have to imagine the sick people are because of the squalor and the fact that this place is filthy because it absolutely is. 
Like, look at it. It's disgusting. It's properly disgusting. Uh, can we go ahead and get some floor tiles in here? Because I reckon going for something simple, like some white floor tiles there, is going to be kind of nice. Maybe some white floor tiles like there as well. You know what? We're going to go for white floor tiles the whole way through it. I think that looks nice. Get some tiles there. Get some tiles there. And the storage area is going to be something like uh, like this. We'll go for the sort of the smaller tiles. I think that looks all right. I'm quite happy with that, to be honest. I like it. I realize I've hired 20 people to work here in the middle of the night. That is completely unnecessary. We don't need 20 people working here in the middle of the night. That is just, well, silly. But... I guess it's better than, you know, not having 20 people working there because it means that we're going to be okay. Now, why are you here, sir? What exactly is your role here? You're just hanging around. I can see that, buddy. Uh, I'm not quite sure why you're hanging around. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll get you a place to work. We're going to get you a... I don't want to build a wall there. Don't, don't want to build a wall there. I want to go to objects. We're going to get another checkout kind, sir. And we'll throw it there just for that guy that's standing around. Because I've done something wrong somewhere. I don't know where. So rather than look, I'm just going to get another checkout counter. Because that seems like the better idea. Uh, so that's been built. That should make things a little easier. But I'm very curious to see what happens with my janitors. We have a lot of janitors coming in. So hopefully... Hopefully we can start cleaning this place up. Because people are properly sick. And I'm not okay with people being properly sick. I'd like this place to be clean. But admittedly, you know, hundreds of people going back and forth every hour is uh, going to contribute to that kind of thing. It does look like my janitors are trying, though. Yeah, they're definitely trying. They're very slow. <laughs> they are properly slow. They are they are not putting a dent in this thing. Well, actually, I take that back. They're, they're putting a bit of a dent in it, but... I have to wonder if it's going to be just as bad tomorrow. I think we need more I think we need the janitors to come in in the middle of the night as well, to be honest. Is there a way I can be like, yo, let's have you guys just come in at mid... Is, is there an easy way to get you to come in at midnight or am I going to have to just do it manually? It seems like I'm just going to have to do this manually, which is... Ugh, manually. It's, it's, it's tedious. It's very, very slow. I'd like a button to just set all of them to come in at midnight. But there we go. Bunch of janitors coming in at midnight. Hopefully they can get the place clean. I, I do think the ones coming in at midnight will be really useful. Because the place is much less busy during the night. So in theory, they should be able to get a lot of stuff cleaned without too much hassle. Uh, are we making money? Yesterday we made four grand. That is not a lot. That is not... Not a lot of money. I guess closing OBLS probably didn't do us a lot of favors. Oh my god. 1,000... 84% of customers will not come back tomorrow. Is that the squalor complaints? I think it might be. 84% of customers are leaving unsatisfied. That would explain why we're making no money. Oh my god. I didn't realize that the filth was that much of a problem. I didn't realize. That is kind of concerning, actually. Uh, my janitors, they're, they're here. They're, they're trying. They're definitely trying, but they are barely putting a dent in this thing. Let's get more janitors. Let's, let's just get a ridiculous number if we can. We're just going to set them all to come in at midnight. And we're going to hope for the best. There we go. Bunch more janitors coming in at midnight. So they should be here. Yeah, there we go. So they're putting a bit of a dent in this. Which is good. The number of customers coming in actually hasn't really changed. Um, come on, guys. Am I going to have to put like a maintenance area uh, pretty much in mobbles? It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? It almost looks like we're going to have to do something about the... Uh... Oh, no. They're getting there now. They're definitely... They're definitely getting in there, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know how efficient that's going to be. I don't know if that's going to last. 
It also doesn't seem like we have that many janitors in here at midnight. I'd like more, to be honest. I'd like a lot more. Oh my god, come on, let's get you in here at midnight. Let's get you in here at midnight as well. Let's get you in here at midnight. Congratulations, you're getting the graveyard shift. Alright, it's coming up to 8 in the morning, so we should have even more janitors coming in. My new concern is that um, even more janitors, janitors isn't going to be enough. But, I mean, well, to be fair, the place is cleaner. It is undoubtedly cleaner. Just not clean enough. Because, uh, again, a lot of people are leaving unsatisfied. There are a lot of complaints about the, the filthiness of the mall. We're trying to beat it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, just just get it clean, please. Please just get it clean. Rural Outfitters has some full queues. That's a problem. We really do need to get more uh, more stuff done with the clothing stores. Parking's apparently an issue. It's kind of surprising. Oh my god, this place out here is filthy again. Do I just need more ways around the mall? I'm going to put this to the test. I'm going to try something. We're going to go to a door. We're going to put a door there and a door there. Because I'm curious to see if that'll like help people filter out of the mall a little bit. I don't necessarily want them going that way, but if it gets them out easier, then I'm all for it. Yeah, some of them are leaving that way. Okay, that's maybe, that's maybe a good thing. That's going to make things a little easier to keep clean. Yeah, that is actually working. So that's going to be useful because eventually we are going to build around there anyway. So that should make it much easier for my janitors to um, to uh, to generally keep this space clean. I sincerely hope. The good news, though, is that we are still technically making money. We're not making anywhere near as much as we have in the past, but we are making money. Now, parking is still an issue for a lot of people. 212 people had parking issues. Queues were full at McDillon's. Queues were full at Rural Outfitters. Rural, Out Rural Outfitters is a very busy shop. Very busy shop indeed. But this is good. Filtering people out like this, just letting them walk across a field. It's definitely cleeping. Cleeping. Keeping this main space uh, cleaner, which is letting us put a nice dent in the, uh, the squalor and the filth that happens to be in uh, mobbles, mobbles, whatever we, whatever it's called. Mega obnoxiously big local shop. It's nowhere near as filthy as it was. And that makes me incredibly, incredibly happy because it means that we should have customers that are much more satisfied. Up here, for example, people are happier. People are, are much, much happier by the looks of it. So hopefully day 159 is going to be quite successful. A lot of people coming along these pathways here. I will say I'm, I, I don't like that they're going through areas that I consider staff only, but eventually it'll be fine. Eventually it'll make sense that they're going around that way because we are going to have like big corridors and stuff that go there anyway. Uh, but for the meantime, I'm really hopeful. I'm really hopeful that this is going to be a much more successful day. Only 10% of customers are not coming back tomorrow, which, to be honest, uh, that's still a lot of uh, still a lot of customers that are not coming back tomorrow. That's almost 100, really. Uh, but I think we're okay. Things are definitely looking better. There are some full queues at uh, Mobbles. That annoys me a lot. Because I really thought having 20 cashiers would be a solution, but apparently it isn't. Uh, there's some complaints about restaurants because the queues at McDillon's are full. We should get more cashiers in here. We could definitely deal with more cashiers in here. That place is very, very busy. Uh, but looking at money, if we can break $10,000 today, I will consider day 159 much more successful than the days that led up to it. There aren't any complaints about squalor, which is good. There are restaurant complaints and parking complaints. We could get more parking in here if we really wanted. 
To be honest, I think we will. I think we might as well get some customer parking in here. So we'll get some there. Uh, actually, oh, that's going to be a little bit tricky. We'll get some customer parking there. Then we'll see how that goes. And we'll get some customer parking there. We'll expand those two areas. Uh, we could get some in here as well. Which I don't think would be the worst idea. So get some customer parking in that spot. We'll get a road across there. And we'll get some customer parking across here at some point too. Because hopefully that'll do good stuff. Hopefully that's going to keep everybody happy. Did we make money? $12,141. I will take it. That is not bad. That is not bad. That is uh, a little bit more than I, th I thought we would just scrape 10,000, but we got 2,000 more. That's... I mean, let's be honest. We've been making... We have made a lot of money at times. We really have made a lot of money. Uh, and unfortunately, we are getting by with loans at the moment. But I feel like the, the mobbles upgrade over the old OBLS, I feel it's a good one. I do. I, I'm really... I'm quite pleased with the mega obnoxiously big local shop. And if we really need to upgrade it at any point, we can move it into these corridors a little bit if we want to. If we need to extend it this way for more cashiers, we technically can. I don't necessarily want to, but we can. So yeah, there is there is room to expand it a little bit. Uh, it's popular. It's doing well. I'm liking it. So ladies and gentlemen, I think... I think I'm gonna leave it there for today. I'm quite happy with the uh, with the upgrade. Today has been focused in one shop. I'm gonna be honest, my plan for today was actually to fill up these other two stores down here, but this one sort of had to be the focus. Next time, we'll go ahead and fill up these two stores here. And uh, hopefully, I think what I'll do as well for next time is I'm gonna leave the game running a little bit so we can gather some money because I don't really want to take out another loan. Uh, what I might do is leave the game running and just sort of watch over. I'll not build or change anything massively. I might leave it running until we pay off the loans. Which will be a long time. So it may be like day 200 or something. But I think I might leave it running until we pay off the loans. So that next time we can actually properly sit down. And uh, expand around this way with the mall a little bit. And get some start getting those specialist shops in here that I keep talking about. So with that in mind, thank you kindly for watching. This has been another Brick in the Mall Part 16. I know that a lot of you might have been expecting a City Skylines video for today. Uh, I just decided to play another Brick in the Mall instead because I couldn't be bothered hooking up my Xbox and getting that ready to capture. I just really wanted to play this. So uh, what I will ask is if you see anyone in the comments that's asking where City Skylines for the day, just it'll be back to it'll be it'll be there tomorrow all right so just let them know and if you're wondering where it is for today it'll be there tomorrow uh so thank you kind for watching this has been another break in the mall part 16 and i will see you next time Bye bye